Today there's a collaboration between the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra and Washington University Edison Theater and the Department of Music to bring in the, uh, the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra with Wynton Marsalis as the director and to collaborate with our students and students of uh, area high schools. The, the high school that's band that's performing is the East St. Louis High School. Generally what a jazz workshop comprises is um, talking about improvisation for students who are up and running as improvisers. Now it's time to get better. But also it involves a lot with uh, musical f rhythmic feel, as, as jazz musicians call it. Getting the drummer to swing a particular way and getting the bass player to walk bass lines and, and for the guitarist or pianist to accompany, to comp in typical ways of the music they're working on, which is probably swing, 1930s and 40s, swing and bebop. With the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra, what we do oftentimes when we travel around the world is, is try to educate people and give workshops and do a lot of interesting things to help to spread the joy of music and appreciation for the arts in general. So um, that's what we're doing here today. The number one reason why I play music is because, for me, it, it's, it's therapeutical. It's a healing process. Playing, as I play and learn about music, I learn more about myself. But however you decide to hold your instrument, you should definitely make sure that everything is pretty much aligned because it is physical playing an instrument. We're going to listen to the kids play, and we're going to help to give them some, um, some helpful suggestions as to, as to how they can play better, how they can get the most out of playing their instruments and particularly some of the most important things about playing together in a musical group is communication. Being able to listen to each other, being able to communicate and understand and accept other ideas even though they might be different from one's own. I once saw a picture of Dizzy Gillespie. I was in Argentina playing some gigs and there, there was a group of musicians in a, in a school. They had a picture of Dizzy dressed up as a gaucho on a horse going down the street after having played with a tango orchestra. So he knew how to extend himself to other people. We're really happy that uh, we can make this collaboration with the St. Louis Symphony and provide a, a, such an educational experience for our students and area high school students. And we hope to continue our collaboration with the symphony on jazz and, and also classical music events here. This is a music department building and it's an Edison Theater building, but day and night we have people from outside the university performing or uh, operating classes in our space. So it has become a St. Louis Music Community Center based in Washington University. That's something we're very happy about.